I'm Gia Gimonaro, park naturalist with the Cincinnati Park Board. Today we're at California Woods Preserve. We're going to talk about maple sugaring, phenology, and climate change. Phenology is the study of the timing of nature cycles, such as the blooming of certain flowers, the migration of butterfly species, fall leaf color, and in this case, maple sugaring. We refer to these observable changes and cycles as phenophases. Today we're going to talk about the phenophase of maple trees and maple sugaring. So why maple sugaring? Well, it's a wonderful phenophase that exhibits really easily here in the Cincinnati area. And well, who doesn't like maple syrup? So it's a yummy, fun way to learn about how phenophases work. So thanks to photosynthesis, all plants make sugar. And in the case of maple trees and some other trees that produce sap that we can take the sugar from, uh, we are able to harvest that sap, boil it down, and make maple syrup. Now that seasonal change happens all the time in Eastern North America. So how do we make maple syrup? Well, it has to do with the dormancy period of a maple tree. So this tree, as you can see the compress compressed buds on this maple tree, uh, the tree is dormant throughout the winter. It stores that sweet sap it made through photosynthesis in the roots and the base, and it is reserved to nourish the buds in the spring. As those buds get the sweet sap, they begin to metabolize the sugar, and then they swell and elongate. Once that happens, the sap starts to change. The sap goes what we call buddy, B-U-D-D-Y, and the buds break open. So buddy sap has different chemistry to dormant sap. Um, typically, the dormant sap is 97%-ish water, 2 to 3% sugar, and about 1% or less of phytochemicals. Those are the chemicals that are already in the tree, and they're actually what make maple syrup taste mapley. Now, once the sap goes buddy, there's less sugar in it, and those phytochemicals multiply as the tree is metabolizing that sugar. So it start to, starts to taste really different. It even starts to get cloudy and then yellow, and then the sap run disappears completely. Now all of this, this change is a normal phenophase. It happens every year, and it is tracked every single year. So what's different about now? The timing of this phenophase has been changing for the last decade or more. It has shifted sooner and sooner. In fact, the sap runs are starting in early January. We're tracking this at California Woods and Caldwell, where we also do maple sugaring programs. And Caldwell in 2022, their sap went completely buddy on February 20th, not even President's Day. That is kind of unheard of. Typically in Cincinnati, President's Day weekend is a phenomenal sap run. And for that sap to run and be fully buddy is a big change from what we've been having in the past years. So this is all changing kind of fast now. Our sap runs are starting in early January, sometimes even late December. The maple seasons are getting shorter. The maple sap is changing flavor, which can translate also to the maple syrup changing in flavor. The sugar maple trees themselves, where we get this sweet sap, they're getting a little weaker. Some are getting uh, declining, especially in the southern parts of the maple trees range. Why is this important? Well, if you're like me, it's because we love maple. Maple is also a highly valued natural sweetener. It's economically important as a crop and a product. Now, who is studying this? Just about anybody who cares about maple is studying this. Indigenous colleges and universities, such as the College of the Menominee Nation, the University of Vermont, Dartmouth, and government agencies, such as the US Geological Survey and the Department of the Interior. Are you interested in learning more about phenology, phenophases, maybe even become an observer of nature yourself? I have, a, I have a job for you. You can go to the Nature's Notebook website. You can register yourself as an observer and you can observe some of these phenophases on your own. You can also become an observer yourself and help us track these phenophases all throughout the changes in nature. So nature is changing all the time. This is not only a normal thing, but it's also being accelerated a bit. Now, while that's important, it's also important to go out and enjoy nature. So please join me and go out in a park and enjoy this spring. Thank you.